As an Etsy seller, you know it's important to optimize your listings for Etsy SEO the right way to increase the visibility of your products and rank higher in search placement. But what does optimizing your listings for SEO means and how can you make sure that you are doing it the right way? Well, in today's video, I will show you not only how to find profitable keywords, but also how to optimize your listings for SEO, which includes the new changes that Exe announced. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to rank your shop on Google. So make sure to grab a piece of paper to take some notes and stick around until the end because this is going to be a value packed video. So first, let's start with how to find profitable keywords for your products. One activity that I recommend all of my students to do is to write down on a piece of paper the different ways that you could accurately describe your products. You also want to use as many unique keywords that define what you sell so you could amplify your reach and drive more traffic back to your shop. So here's a pro tip for you. Think like a shopper. The more specific you are, the more likely your products will be shown to the right people. So let me give you an example. Someone searching for shoes could have anything in mind, right? But someone searching for woman running shoes is much closer to making a purchase. Why? Because they are searching with an intent to buy. And that's the reason why long tail keywords convert better than generic or broad terms. In this keyword research stage, all you're doing is brainstorming keyword ideas and jotting them down. You could also do an audit of your top competitors to see what keywords they're using and add them to your list. Don't know how to do an audit? Let me show you how. All right, so I'm just going to look for a store that sells funeral signs. And let's say I wanted to check um, this particular store and I wanted to see what keywords they're currently using. All you need to do is just copy the title and go to E-Rank and then go to Tools and then go to Rank Checker. From there, you're gonna remove your store name and you're gonna add their title up here and you're gonna do a quick search. Now, this is gonna open that particular listing, which is right here. And it's going to give you like a, a quick snippet of information. It gives you all of the tags here. But if you click on listing audit, you can actually see each individual tag. You can see what is the monthly search volume. And then you can also see the competition. But this is how easy it is to do an audit and find the keywords of any of your competitors if you want to spy and see what keywords they're currently using. Another alternative to keyword research is the ABC method. You could plug in your root keyword in the XE search bar and then start searching what people are searching for by simply typing the letter A, then the letter B, then the letter C, etc. Let me show you how it works. How the ABC method work is that you take that root keyword of your product. So for this will be the root keyword would be funeral and you would type that in on the search bar. And from here, you're going to do the ABC method, which is you're going to add an A and see what are people searching for um, when it comes to the word funeral. And this will give you additional keywords. Um, so this is a good one here. Funeral announcement templates, uh, funeral announcement, funeral arrangements. And any of these that you do have in this particular listing or maybe you sell in your store, you will start jotting them down. This is just brainstorming. Now, do you see these little numbers right next to it? This is an extension called Keywords Everywhere that I use that gives me additional data for Google. Why is this important? Because your listings are shown both on Xe and Google. So understanding that this particular keyword not only is going to give me traffic from Xe, hopefully, right? I could also rank for Google. And I have a lot of my listings that not necessarily perform that great on Xe, but they actually perform really good on Google and that drives me tons and tons of traffic. 
So it's really good idea to train yourself to look at both numbers every time you're doing a keyword research so you could pick the best keyword. Now, if you wanna use this Keywords Everywhere extension, I will leave my referral link right below this video. I highly suggest using my referral link because we both get additional credits. If you go directly with them, they won't give you those additional credits um, that you're buying. So I will leave that right below the video. But basically what you would do is just start typing, now you would do the letter B. And from here, it's gonna give you additional things like funeral banner. Do you sell those? If you do, this might be a good one to write down. And then you would just keep doing this. Now, in this particular um, circumstance, I would put additional keywords, even if it's not relevant to what I'm selling, only because funeral is very niche down already as it is, and it's, it has a very low search volume already on XE. So I would mix a few additional keywords in there for people that are searching for funeral accessories, templates, brochures, etc. And then you would do this with C, and then you would kind of go through here and see, are any of these keywords describe what I'm, I'm actually listing? So I'm actually listing a funeral template. So this might be a good one, funeral card template, and then I would write that down. And then what I would do is the same, I would do D. Now keep in mind, every time you're writing these down, um, you also wanna make a little note of this particular number right next to it. So you will write in your notepad, um, if you were doing research, you will say, you know, funeral, let's say with a funeral announcement template has 2,400 searches on Google, right? So you would just put funeral announcement template. I know I spelled it right. I'm wrong, 2,400. And I would just put G for Google. So you can know that and just have it on a on another spreadsheet down here, along with your additional keywords on the top, just so you could look at it a little bit later. And then you would do this for every single letter just to see what comes up and you will continue doing this. And this is how you do the ABC method. By now you should have at least 15 to 25 tags that accurately describe your product or for who it's intended for. The next step is analyzing each keyword and seeing if there's a demand for the tag and how difficult it will be to rank for them. I personally use eRank Pro to do keyword research and I use their feature called Keyword Explorer to analyze the keyword and find related searches. The two most important metrics I always look at are the monthly search volume and competition. These two key performing indicators give me an indication if these tags will help me rank organically or how challenging it might be. So let me show you how they work. Once you have created a list of keywords that accurately describe your product, whether you just brainstorm, whether you looked at your competitors, or you did the ABC method. Now the next step is looking at the demand for those keywords, seeing the competition, and seeing if you could use them or not use them. So the tool that I use is eRank Pro again, and I use the tool called Keyword Explorer. So I will click right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter every single keyword right here and do a search. So let's go ahead and start with the first one I wrote down, which was funeral program template. And I'm gonna do a quick search. Now this is gonna pull out the data of this particular keyword right up here with additional information. And then on the bottom is gonna give me related searches. So as you can see, funeral program template, the average search volume um, per month is 2,600 monthly searches on XE, which is pretty good. And the competition is really low, it's 1,073. So this will be a good keyword that I will keep. You could also take it one step further and look at what's trending, and you could see the monthly searches on Google compared to XE as well. So as you could see on XE, um, is an average of about 2,100 monthly searches. This is for the month of April. But for Google, people are searching for this a little bit higher, actually, 9,900. And that could be because a lot of people wouldn't think, let me go to Etsy and buy funeral templates or funeral poster or anything like that, right? So this is a really good opportunity for anyone that wants to be in this particular niche that you can actually grow something really powerful because there's not a lot of competition. And as you can see, it's something that people are searching for both on Etsy and Google. So that's a really good keyword to have 
So therefore, when you're optimizing your listing for SEO, you could potentially rank on XC and also start driving traffic from Google and other large search engines. Now, if you come down here, so this one I will keep and all I would do is simply like I did here in my notepad, I just I would just write the, the actual keyword that I came up with and then just write the numbers 2644 and then 9073. And then you can also go down here and see what are the related searches. So sometimes this is gold mine, it gives you a lot of great keywords. Sometimes it's like hit and miss, you don't find any to be honest, um, but you definitely need to look at it because it's worth looking at it. Sometimes you'll find keywords for additional products that you have or for that specific product as well. So all you would need to do is just kind of go through here and see are any other keywords here relevant to this particular product that I'm selling. So the one that we looked at right now was funeral um, program, right? Template, which is um, right here. Um, I don't know why I have it twice for some reason, um, but that's the one that we looked at. So that's the one that we already verified. And then we just kind of come down funeral program. That might be another good one. So I would come here, type, take this information, write the average search volume and write the competition. The average click-through rate is over 100, which is good. I would say over 60% is pretty good. Um, the average clicks is 1,900, so people are actually clicking on this particular search. Oh, excuse me, um, 2,100. So they're actually clicking on this particular search. So this is a keyword that I would use. And then I would just come over here, write it down, funeral program, and just write those information down. And then I would do this for every single keyword that I come up with. Now, the reason why we're writing down the search volume and the competition is because ultimately when you uh, optimize your listing, you need to pick a focus keyword. And normally what I try to do is go with the keyword that has one, the highest search volume with the least competition, or I try to incorporate those in my title because I know that if I do rank for those, it's going to drive me a little bit more traffic. I also recommend throwing in there like a, a more broader term that's relevant to what you sell, like the word funeral, um, only because a lot of those do have or tend to have a higher search volume than 976 that usually tend to have like 5,000 or 10,000. And that could potentially drive you even more traffic if you rank for them over time. So this is how you would do it. You would just come here and see, okay, here's funeral. Let me write that one down. And then you would just come and see are any other keywords here relevant to what I'm selling that I should use. And then you would take every keyword that you wrote down. Again, you would, let's say this is another one that I wrote down. I did this to fast track this video, but this is exactly what I do. This is exactly what I teach. So then you would do another search for the third, fourth word that you came up with, and you would validate the information. You always want it validated. So this is a good one. It has a, a thousand monthly searches, competition is 3,800. And this is one that I would keep is uh, people are searching for it on Etsy and Google. So right now it's trending on both platforms. So it's definitely a good one to keep. And then I will go down here and look at related searches. So funeral program template, we already have that one. Funeral program, we already have that one. Uh, funeral favors. So this will give you additional keywords, right? Oh, that's the one that we just did. But sometimes when you look through here, we'll give you additional keywords that maybe you didn't really think about, right? And just kind of go through it and make sure that you go all the way through the end. Um, this is another one, Funeral Program Template Word. It has 460 monthly searches, 3,000 in competition. It's not that bad. What I normally try to do is stick with at least 500 monthly searches and 30,000 or less in competition. However, um, depending on the niche that you're in, you might have to go a little bit low. Niches like this, like funeral, you might have to use a couple of them that have 300 or 100 monthly searches. I wouldn't go underneath 100, but at least 100 and up. But if you can make them all be 500 or more, obviously, the higher the number, the better. That's going to give you more of traction when it comes to driving more traffic to your store. But this is how you use the Keyword Explorer to do keyword research and find profitable tags that you could potentially use to rank your products. The next step after finding your tags is optimizing your description for XC SEO. 
If you are a student of mine in the XE Mastery course, I have been teaching this for years, which is adding your tags in the actual description as organically as possible to rank for Google and other large search engines. And this is a new change that XE just announced that now they are scanning for phrases and tags in the actual description as well. So if you've been following me in the XE Mastery course, there's nothing you really have to change. But if you have not optimized your description for SEO, let me show you how it should look. All right, so in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to completely optimize your listing description and your actual listing for both XE and Google SEO. So go ahead and add all of your photos, make sure to add a video. This is just a mock-up that I'm creating for the sake of this video. So once you have all of your photos, the next step is adding your title. So to fast track this video, I created already a title and this is my title here, Celebrating Celebration of Life template that makes a beautiful and memorable funeral program for your loved one. So I'm gonna type this in here. Um, ultimately, what XE want from us as sellers is to create a short sentence um, or a few sentences that's easy to read and is user-friendly for the customer but is optimized for SEO. So as you can see, I have my focus keyword here in the beginning of the title, celebration of life template. This is ultimately becomes the URL of that page. And then I also have funeral as one of the keywords that I want to rank for, and then funeral program as another keyword. So potentially I have three keywords in my title. I could have wrote a little bit more as well. Um, my recommendation, if you can, is to fully write a longer title and add additional keywords. Just make sure that it makes sense when people are reading it. From here, you would select where it falls. This is a digital product. Um, so I'm just gonna say it's made already. Um, I'm gonna put it under template. So make sure you pick the right category because that's another contributing factor of XE SEO is making sure that your products, whether they're physical or tangible products, I mean, digital products are in the right category. Um, in addition to that, another primary factor of SEO is your attributes. You wanna make sure that you pick attributes that are relevant to what you're selling. You don't wanna to add too many or none. Um, so for instance, if you can't find an attribute that describes what you sell, then don't add any. But don't start adding attributes just to add attributes. Make sure it's relevant to what you sell. So this particular product that I found online, I don't sell this and I don't plan to sell this, this is just an example, is white and green. So I ended up picking white as the primary color, green as the secondary color, and then the occasion is grief and mourning. So that's perfect for this particular product. There's no holiday that I would select for this. And because this is a physical product, I have it set as automatic and digital. If you sell physical products, then you will have it automatic and physical or manual, depending on your circumstance, if you don't want it automatically renew. From here, the description is really, really important because now with the new XE changes, you have to incorporate your keywords within the description. But like I said, if you have been taking my course before or have listened to any of my videos prior, you're probably already doing the new changes already automatically because this is something I've been recommending for everyone to do. So I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. So these are my keywords here. And what I did was I distributed my keywords as organically as possible within the context of the actual description. So I have, this is my meta description here, which is the beginning of your description. It's a, a Google snippet. This is shown on Google when people do a search and it should include one, your focus keyword, which is right here, my keyword. It should include a short description of what you're selling with a call to action. So my call to action is shop now. In addition to that, I have additional keywords throughout the description. Funeral program templates is one. I have here funeral favors, funeral posters, memorial signs. Those are additional keywords that I wanna rank for. Funeral memorials um, services is another one that I rank for. Celebration of life is another keyword I wanna rank for. Um, I even have funeral program template word. That's another long tail keyword I wanna rank for. And then even down here I have funeral posters, funeral brochures, and memorial posters. So you want to add your keywords, just like I showed you, organically as possible within the context of your description. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. 
in here so you guys could see an example of it. So um, this will be right here, my meta description, which is, again, this is what people see on Google. And then I distribute it, my keywords as organically as possible. My suggestion is to try to add all 13 keywords within your description. Sometimes it gets a little hard to do so, but if you want to, the best way to do so is adding the ones that have the highest search volumes, the ones that you know that you could rank well on Google as well on Etsy. Um, so even if you end up adding, I don't know, 10 keywords or nine keywords, that's better than not taking the time to optimize your description for SEO. So once you do all that, you add all of your 13 keywords here, just publish it. And it should look something like this. This is just to give you an idea. I should have a short a short title that's not overcomplicated, doesn't have keyword stuffing, it's easy to read for the customer, but it's also optimized for SEO. And then you should be able to go ahead and have a description of what you're selling, the benefits of buying from you as a seller, and then everything they need to know about this order, but also optimize for SEO. In addition to optimizing your description, for both Etsy and Google, you need to make sure that you optimize your full store. So in addition to that, you wanna add keywords that you could rank for in your tagline, you wanna add keywords in your shop announcement, you wanna add keywords in your shop section, and you also wanna add keywords in the bottom in your about me section. So in your title and also in your description. So there you have it. That's how you optimize your listings and shop for Etsy and Google SEO. Have questions? Let me know below.